Red is the night at Wheat Fields to light it up. Um, they're showing off all their fantastic Christmas lights that KNS Landscaping put up for them this year. This is something that Wheat Fields started last year with Helen Younger, and they just really think it's a great thing to do for the residents. Um, Kale Jesco with KNS um, has contributed a lot of his time, donated a lot of his supplies and lights, and then there's a bunch of people who have donated back here on this sign. Um, if you want to drive by and check that out, and Kale, kind of, if someone once loved these lights and they want to put it on their own house, you know, kind of, what do you have to say about that? Um, yeah, so it's a project for us mainly is to give back to the residents here and those that for the last two years have been secluded from us. Um, an opportunity for us to give back to them, as God knows they've given to us and to our community for years. And uh, as far as the lights go, it, it's a fun project for us in a way to showcase kind of what we do. And, um, you know, for us, residential, commercial, permanent lighting, landscape lighting, uh, we do that on top of all of our landscape projects as well. So if anyone is interested or curious on how it's done or what needs to be done, feel free to contact us on our Facebook page. Uh, visit us in 2001 East 7 here in Globus on the south side of the rest. Perfect. So last time we were here, Colby, do you remember what it looked like? There wasn't lights for sure, so it, it became light. So how did this come about, Helen? Well, thanks to Kale and his great lighting crew setting the lights up for us, we put them on the ground first and realized that the residents can't see them on the ground. So we decided we have to add lights all along the fence here. And then they need something for entertainment, so Tractor Supply generously donated these little lighted goats and the little chickens, and I just love them. That's so and cool. And not only me, but the residents love them. And Bill Vetterly was so gracious to make us with some extra snowmen this year. So we have fun things, and these people absolutely love them. Nice. And so my hat's off to Tractor Supply and all those For folks sure. that were kind enough to donate us these wonderful things and help these people have a wonderful Christmas. Bring some light to their life. And That's it definitely right. has. That's it's right. nice and pretty out here. Since the focus of Christmas is on the birth of Christ, I wanted to show off this beautiful nativity scene that Rocky Marks made for us. And the residents can see it outside the dining room while they enjoy their meals. And they love it. And I love it. Just putting it together, seeing it, gave me goosebumps. I want to remember the birth of Christ and uh, give him praise. And so thank you to all the community for the money that you've donated and helping us with your support for the residents of Wheatfields to make their Christmas special. We really appreciate your donations and your well wishes for the residents. Greetings, driving by tonight and um, doing a social distance greeting for them. Thank you very much. So Helen, we're on the other side of Memory Care, and this side's all lit up as well. So it looks like you got quite a bit of funds to help light up this side as well. Yes, going, going forward, uh, I know you want to keep on continuing to expand this project. You started this last year, and you've got to cover the main building, and then this year you've added the lights in Memory Care, as well as on to the building a little bit more. So going forward, what would you like to hope we do uh, next year? It'd be terrific if we could bring the lights, extend them to the north end of the building and all the way across the front of memory care on the exterior. Okay. That'd be terrific. So this is just not a one-year project. So uh, if you'd like to donate, it's still there's still time to donate. It'll go towards next year's lights and uh, help bring light to you know, all these residents and this time where they don't have much light in their life. So, What do you think? Is it like Merry Christmas, Light Up Wheat Fields time? Oh, definitely. The community is so beautiful and twice what it was last year. It's really brought joy to all the residents. They talk about it during the day. It's, it's wonderful. I think that Kale and his guys once again did a fantastic job, don't you? Oh, without a doubt. And all the donors, can you believe it? Oh, it's amazing. It just shows you what a community that we live in and how caring they are. 
I agree with you. And I am really tickled to be part of this and this community. Me too. It's Me a pretty too. good place, isn't it? It is. Call home. It definitely is. It's a great place for the residents to live and for us to work in. So Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. And, and Merry Christmas to the community. That's right. And thank you again to all the donors. This wouldn't be possible with them. You know, Clovis Sign actually made this wonderful sign for us with the donors' names at the last minute. And I thought they did a fantastic job. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I came out this afternoon and saw it and it was just wow. I like the Santa train, don't you? <laughs> and also, thank you, American Heritage Bank, for promoting this for us and helping us with your beautiful videos. And these two wonderful people called Kobe and Marissa, they come here and film this for us. We appreciate you.